Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn a very good API testing plugin for Cypress. So let's begin. In Cypress, if you want this beautiful layout for API testing where you get different information about the API, for example, method, the complete URL, headers, queries, response, cookies, status, size, and so on. So by default, Cypress doesn't provide this beautiful layout in the test runner but now you can have this beautiful layout where you can get all this information by just using this very good plugin which is cypress plugin api so uh, let me go to the studio code here and let me show you what happens if we execute a simple api using cy.org okay, this is my previous uh, tutorial where actually we learned about the get api and we put different assertions on this particular api so um, let me go to the trust runner here and let me run this get, get API and see what happens here. So it will execute and but here we don't get any kind of information here, right? It just says that we got a request, we got a status, we got our sessions passed, but we don't get more information just like a postman. So let me go to the browser here and uh, what we will do is that let me search for cypress plugins and here just go to the plugins here and here let's search for cypress plugin api so it's not finding it let me search for api and now search this uh, document in this particular document you will find that particular plugin here so let's scroll down here and yeah so this is cypress plugin api and just click on this one and open this one here and here you scroll down so we will get this very beautiful layout just like a postman right and here you can make a request using cy.api then you can have a time travel snapshots we don't have a time travel snapshots by default so we have color coding for method so different features are available here so what we will do is that uh, let's install this plugin so let me copy this one go to Visual studio code here and let me open a terminal here another terminal and let me paste this one here and press enter so it will install this plugin once it will be installed what we will do is that we need to add this line in our support file so we are using a cypress version 9 point let me confirm the version here so what i'll do is that let me go here and check uh, my package.json so we are using cypress 9.5.2 and this is the older version and you will not find this support file here e2e.js so we will find index.js in the previous version and it didn't install a file just because we are running the test runner here let me close this one and now i will use this one here and so let me go back here and let me copy this particular line from here because we are using npm here and let me paste it here and press enter now it should install yes we have successfully installed this package now uh, if i go back to this documentation we need to import this one in our support file so in previous versions so go to the support file and here we have index.js you can add here as well and you can also add here as well so I'm adding in my commands.js simply import this one and save this one now let me copy this um, get call and let me copy this complete code from here and let me create one new file here get api underscore plugin so that will give us a different picture here so let me paste it here so simply what i will do is that instead of cy.request i will be using cy.api 
that's it and now let me save this one and now let's open the test runner so npx so npx cypress open so it will open the test runner and when i execute this particular file now we will be having a very good layout so let me run this file get api underscore plugin.js so let me run this one now this time we would be having a very good layout here and we will get all the information here so we have this get method we have all assertions available here we have the complete path here in case if there is a post call you will get the post body here response header cookies duration and all the things now uh, let me execute uh, one post call for you here and let me copy this one and let me create one file here so that we can see the post call here and post api underscore plugin dot js plugin dot js so this is a file and i'm pasting this one here and here uh, you will see that this is a post request and we are sending this particular body and then we are asserting data here right so what i'll do is that instead of cy.request i will be using cy.api here and rest all good to go here so let me save this one here and let's go to the test runner here and post api plugin dot js let's run this one and see what happens here so here we got a uh, session failed but you will see that we got this body whatever body we are providing here we are getting the response we are getting the headers cookies duration size and each everything just like a postman so if you haven't used the postman so let me open the postman for you and now let me run this get api so let me go to this get api so simply just retrieving a employee from here so let me go here and let me create one file here request so let me send this request and uh, let me run it multiple times because if you run this call multiple times you will get four to nine okay just leave uh, this status here and the response here but let me tell you uh, that we are getting the time size status code response headers and if there is any cookie we get the cookie by default cypress does not provide this information so that's why this plugin is very very helpful because it provides all the information here and this is a body so if i, if I go back to the visual studio code here so let me show you the body of this call so you see this is a body and it has name salary age test 1 2 3 and 23 and if i go back to the test runner here you will see that this particular json body has been passed into this particular call which has post method and status 200 duration is this size is this these are the headers which we got in the response these are the response we got from the particular api head so this is a very a very good plugin and really help you when you are working or testing the apis thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial